Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually doing a January sales haul because as we haven't been able to go out to the shops, I have felt obliged to shop on online a lot. So I have bought quite a lot for me this year and I got quite a few good deals. So I thought I would do a January sales haul for you. I don't know if you'll find it interesting, but I like watching hauls, so I thought I would do one myself. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, but before we get started, don't forget to do the usual, like this video if you do enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel, as my aim is to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So fingers crossed it happens. One of the first things I was looking at to get myself is a new cabin suitcase. Um, I've needed to get one for quite a while now I say I need, I wanted to get one for a while. Um, as the one I currently have, I've had for almost a year and a half and it's just battered and it looks a bit scruffy and I feel like as cabin crew you're not supposed to look scruffy. So I wanted to get myself a new suitcase that, you know, was a bit more of a treat this one. I could have just gone online and got a cheap one but I wanted to get like a, a proper nice one. So I went onto the Samsonite website and they had a load of good deals. So I picked up this one. I'll show you a better clip um, up close. Um, otherwise, if I pick it up now, it's just gonna take up the whole frame of the camera. So I got the Duo Pack Spinner Expandable Four Wheel Black Cabin Suitcase. So the original price of this case is £149, which to me, I mean, it's worth the money because I'll be using it a lot, obviously. However, it's a lot of money. <laughs> you know, it's just, just seems ridiculous to pay that much for a suitcase that's just gonna be thrown around and battered. So um, I actually found it on the website for £89.40. So I think that's quite a good deal for a Samsonite suitcase. And what I liked about it is it has so many pockets. It's wider than my previous suitcase, which means I can fit more in. And um, it means that I don't have to check in a suitcase as often as I had to with my current suitcase. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It looks nice. I already packed it once for a standby duty and I managed to fit tons in there. As well as I'm actually able to fit in my laptop as well. It's got a particular slot in there for a laptop. A couple of other really good features about the suitcase as well. I really like the fact that it has the four wheels and um, I just like to glide my suitcase along. I'm super lazy when it comes to that. So four wheels was a must and I'm really happy with it. When I took it to the airport the other day for standby, it just wheeled so smoothly and that's just, oh, it's so good. I, my other suitcase was just, oh, it was a chore to drag it along, let me tell you. Um, the other thing I like as well is it fits really well. You've seen my topper bag, my Amazon Basics bag that I've shown in one of my previous videos. I think it was my um, what's in my topper bag. Um, but yeah, that fits super nicely on top and doesn't like overhang really badly like it did on my other suitcase as well, which means a lot of the time with my other suitcase, it just kept falling over and when I just left it on its own. So yeah, this one fits really well on top of my new suitcase. And I'm just super happy with it. I think for the price, it was just a steal and I absolutely love it. I'm super glad I got it. So as many of you know, my boyfriend Vic, he works in our local outlet village, our MacArthur Glen outlet village, and he works in the Skechers store. So for Christmas, he got my mum some slippers, some really nice sparkly slippers. And I absolutely loved them. So I wanted to get a pair myself. And um, because he works there, he does get a bit of discount. So I think originally he said, um, these slippers, it's these ones, they're so nice and they're so comfy, they're memory foam and yeah, they literally just feel like you're walking on marshmallows to be quite honest with you. And of course, I had to go with the glittery ones because it's me, isn't it? But yeah, he said the original price of these were, I think £65 in a normal Skechers store, which is crazy. Um, in the store where he works, they were £29, I think, but then we got a further discount. So I, th I have a feeling I paid about £17 for these, which I think for a pair of Skechers slippers, which are gonna last me so long, I think actually is a really good price. I wanted to get some new slippers for ages because previously I had some of like the boot slippers and they were just so uncomfortable and just a pain to slip on. Whereas these, just slip them on and yeah, they, as I said, they feel like you're walking on a marshmallow. So yeah, I think since I've bought them, I actually have not taken them off um, unless it's to go out. So yeah, I'm super glad I got these. And they are going back on right now. So I've had my current um, everyday backpack that I have at home, which is like my handbag, for probably about two years, maybe even more. This is its current state. So it's all scratched. You got bits of like, you know, material coming off of it and it's just fraying. It's just looking a little bit, a 
little bit used so I wanted to get myself a new one so I went on the Forelli website I think I'm saying that right Forelli website and um, on there they had a load of good prices of course January sales um, so I wanted to get another backpack because I prefer backpacks over handbags I just find them comfier to wear so the main feature I was looking for with a new backpack was a zip as my current backpack just has like a rotating lock and it's just so loose now it's just become so weak that it just undoes itself sometimes and just pops open which is obviously not safe especially with it being on my back and having my purse and you know important stuff in it so I wanted to get a bag that was a bit more secure so I'll show you a picture of the bag it hasn't arrived yet but it is arriving tomorrow so I'll put a clip on the screen now of what it looks like and I absolutely love it I paid let me have a look I paid £25 for this backpack which I think for Forelli is actually a decent price. So yeah, I, I, do you know what? I think I have been eyeing up this backpack for quite a while now because it just has everything I need in it. It has lots of zips, lots of pockets, so it's totally safe. It's a lot more spacious than my current bag. And I think for the price, I was a little bit skeptical whether to pay, I think the original price is like 60 pound. I thought that was a bit much. So when I saw it for 25, I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the fact that it is white and it's probably gonna get dirty, but I'll just have to make sure I look after it. So yeah, I am glad I picked up that and I cannot wait for it to arrive tomorrow. So the next store I went and had a look on was Feel Unique. So I was looking at specific makeup products that I've been looking at for ages and I was given a bit of Christmas money so I thought do you know what I'm just going to treat myself and get them test them out I'm not going to know if I like them till I test them out and um, I always just go for drugstore makeup so I thought now is the time to treat myself especially at a time like this so so I went on the website picked up the three things that I was looking at and the only thing I will say about Feel Unique is it took about two weeks for my order to actually be shipped I contacted them like I think it must have been three times in the end and they didn't get back to me once it wasn't until I got the shipment email two weeks after I ordered it to say that my order was on its way so I don't think it was the best customer service but I have my stuff in the end so I'll show you what I got the first thing I picked up was the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade I got the shade 2 I'm currently wearing it now and um, I tested it out today and yeah it's really good I feel like everyone has this in their makeup drawer and I felt a bit left out so I got it and I am really impressed I really like it the shade really suits my brows I've said in so many of my makeup videos that I always struggle to find brow products that suit my brow shade so I'm really glad this one does and um, I will be using this for the foreseeable future so yeah very impressed the second product I got which I was a little bit on edge whether to get as I'd heard mixed reviews about this product um, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So I picked up the shade 2.5 and this was a real struggle to try and actually find the shade that would suit me because I haven't had the chance to go into a store and test the right shade for me. Obviously most beauty and makeup stores have taken away all of their testers so we don't have that opportunity. So, so the way I found out what I thought would be the right shade for me is actually comparing swatches online um, to another foundation I have so I tested it against the Rare Beauty foundation that I have and um, that's how I came up with my shade and again I'm wearing it right now I'm still kind of testing it myself but if you want to see an actual dedicated testing video to this specific foundation let me know in the comments as I, I think I'd actually really like to do it I'll wait for your responses to see whether you would like to see that video before I make any comment on this particular product so the third and final product I picked up from Feel Unique is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is the packaging and I think it's stunning. And that's the inside. I went with the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. So I've always had a bit of a love-hate relationship with bronzers, um, only because my skin is so fair. Most bronzers that I've used, I've always gone for the lightest shade and it just looks like I have blobs of orange on my cheeks and I hated it so much. So I've wanted to get this particular bronzer for so long, purely for the shade um, and also to own this beautiful product. But yeah, the shade itself is just perfect for my skin tone. It just gives such a nice wash of color on my cheeks. As you can see, I'm wearing it now and it just looks stunning. There's literally no fault for this product. I absolutely love it. So the only fault I actually have for this product, as most of you know, is the price. It is 
quite expensive it's 39 pound for this bronzer however the way i justified it is the fact that once you actually have the product and um, you run out of the product in the pan you can replace the pan itself yeah it's a lot cheaper to actually just replace the pan rather than buy a whole new product i think it's only about 28 pound i say only but it's better than paying 39 pound for a brand new product really isn't it i think the only time i will ever do that is if i actually break the packaging so I'm not going to do that, I'm going to cherish this with my life. So the final makeup product I got, which I couldn't get on Feel Unique, um, was a new eye primer. I was just going to go for my usual Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I've used for as long as I can remember. However, I wanted to try something different. And I'd seen so many people on Instagram using the P. Louise Eye Base for their eye primer. So that's exactly what I got. I got one of the P. Louise Eye Bases and I got shade 1 which is a really good uh, shade for my skin tone. Again, I was a little bit unsure of which shade to go for, only because my skin tone is so awkward. It's not the lightest shade, but it is still super light, my skin tone. So yeah, I'm really happy um, this shade works for me. I used it today just to carve out my, um, my brows. Super happy with it. It was £10, I think, yep, decent price. And it just comes in nice packaging as well, which, um, because they're like a, a smaller business compared to other makeup brands, I'm happy to um, pay that sort of price for an eye primer. I feel like my hauls are not complete unless I've done a Shein haul, which is exactly what I've done. <laughs> not ashamed to say it. So I wanted to get a specific type of clothing for a long time now. I've wanted to get some tennis skirts. So the first tennis skirt I picked up is just this plain black one with the white stripes on the bottom. It's actually really good quality, this skirt. The length is really good on me. Um, it's not too long, not too short. The only thing was I had to take in the waist a little bit. I did measure myself completely against the measurements on the website but um, it's not a problem, I don't mind taking these in just to make them fit a bit better. But yeah, I really like this and um, it's not see-through, which is amazing. It's actually quite a thick material, which is um, quite nice. It means I can wear it in winter, spring, autumn. Yeah, I really like that skirt. I'm so glad I picked it up. That one was 11.47. Again, I did get a bit of discount, so the prices are really specific. But yeah, 11.47 for a skirt, I think is a great price. The second tennis skirt I picked up was this white leather one. I feel like I always like to have like a white and a black or like two colour options with my clothing choices. So um, yeah, that's why I got to. And I like the fact that even though this is white, it is leather, which means clumsy me if I spill anything on it I can just easily wipe it off but yeah this is one I feel like I could wear all year round again it's really thick the fact that it's faux leather means it's not see-through again I did have to take it in a little bit but it's fine it's not a problem it fits me really well now this one's slightly longer so um I adjusted this to make it so I could wear it more high-waisted than the black one but yeah I really like it and I cannot wait to style this this one was only slightly more, this was £12.29, which again, I'm quite happy to pay that for that good of a quality of a skirt. So you may have seen in my last Shein haul that I picked up a cohort of um, this just um, strappy black top, um, crop top as well as um, it came with some long black flared trousers. And I'm not gonna lie, I've worn them so much. I got so much use out of them, so much more than I ever thought I would. They're just super comfy to wear on landing day, as well as they're so easy to pack in my suitcase, as I think I mentioned in my video that I thought they would be. And um, yeah, I just, I wear them everywhere. They're like my replacement for jeans. I used to wear jeans all the time, and now oh, I cannot get myself out of them. So I thought I would order myself a new pair of um, those trousers. So I got, these ones they're like a a nude caramel color i was a little bit skeptical on the color i'm not gonna lie only because of how pale i am and my hair color i was a little bit like is it gonna go but the other day i wore them with um one of the other items i'm going to show you in a minute and i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love them they are just as comfy as my other ones and i absolutely love the color i know the color like this color and brown as well are just such a popular colour at the minute. What I like about these trousers is that even though you can dress them down and wear them as comfy trousers, you can also dress them up as well. So I have figured that out with the other trousers. So these trousers were 7 dollars so bargain. So the next three items, they were all bought separately, however they are very similar. So 
I'll show you the item that I or the top that I wore with the trousers you've just seen. I wanted to get a few more turtleneck jumpers. Um, I quite like the thinner jumpers that aren't too oversized. I think oversized things sometimes can drown me out a little bit. So I got just a plain black high neck thin jumper and I wore this with those trousers and perfect combo I have to say they are so nice together they'll be wearing them together a lot I don't think there's much more to say about this really apart from I feel like everyone needs a black high neck jumper in their wardrobe and I don't know why it's taken me so long to get one 5.925 for that one which honestly sheen prices every time pretty much the exact same jumper as the black one just in a dark red I love dark red and um, it's one of my favorite colors red in general is but dark red I absolutely love it and I even think this color will go nice with the brown trousers as well caramel trousers so yeah I really like that and I think yeah I paid the exact same price $5.95 and the final jumper I got, I absolutely love this. I think this will go so well with the white tennis skirt. And it's this pink jumper. It's not as high neck as the other two, but it is still a high neck. And I just think it's such a nice bubblegum pink. And it's so thick, like the material. That is crazy thick for the price I paid. £6.80. I love the thin jumpers. I like them for the fact that they're just so easy to take away. Plus they're just easy to wear at home. And this color, I fell in love with the color. I think that's probably the main reason I got this jumper. So yeah, I absolutely love it. And I will definitely be wearing it with that white tennis skirt at some point in the near future. And the final thing I picked up from Shein was, I wasn't actually going to get this, or I wasn't even looking for it on the website, but I absolutely loved these style of headbands and um, I just like them to just kind of shove my hair back when it's slightly greasy. Also for, you know, to do my makeup, it makes it a lot easier. But I found this on the website and it's like an assortment of different coloured headbands. <laughs> so I'm wearing one of them now, it's like a cream one. You get red, I think you get two blacks, a light brown, a dark brown. There's like a caramel colour to match the trousers that I bought. You've got green, blue, purple, red, white, a grey. You get all sorts in there, and this pack was two, this pack was two pound ninety seven. Now they're on the floor, so I think two pound ninety seven for that. I mean, they're not like the thickest in the world, but they are nice and elasticated, and they're actually really comfy rather than like the chunky headbands that just dig into the back of your ear. I just find these are so much better. So I feel like that was a very random buy, but also a very useful one as well. So that is my humongous January sales haul, and I got so much there that. I needed but also wanted as well and it was just nice to treat myself so I am really happy with everything I got let me know in the comments what your favorite thing from this haul was as well as just remember to let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do a foundation review of the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation as I would love to do one so um yeah if you guys are interested let me know don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and remember to subscribe to my channel as we are aiming for those thousand of you and stick around as there'll be lots and lots of videos in 2021 to come. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video.